Uh, welcome back. We are looking at WTI oil contracts. And just to recap what has happened uh, this year. Uh, so uh, in the beginning of 2020 and until mid-April, we saw this massive decline in the price of oil. This is due to the uh, oil wars between Saudi Arabia and Russia. And of course, of the situation in the world economy due to the, due to the coronavirus. However, since mid-April, we have been on this bullish run. And last week, we saw an end to this bullish run. We did see a few days, uh, four days, uh, trading sessions where prices were just uh, trading um, sideways. And that is technically a the sign of exhaustion. So um, there are a few reasons to this. Uh, we first of all see this massive gap, and this gap has to be filled before we technically can go higher. I do expect the uh, 200 moving average to uh, to um, to be uh, resisting uh, this uh, price. So even though we got through this um, gap here and um, got to the you know, 200 moving average, we will most likely uh, go back down when we hit this resistance level. So if we're supposed to be uh, up here for oil at this level, very honest, no. So nothing really has changed in the world economy. Uh, most you know, economies in the world are still on lockdown. And those that have reopened, they are still uh, restricted. So, for example, air uh, airlines uh, are still at probably... Uh, at 20% capacity. Cruise liners, they are not sailing, and most uh, service sectors are still um, closed or uh, they are, haven't opened uh, 100% yet due to the coronavirus. So we are not nearly at the same level as we were uh, back in 2019. Uh, and in the long run, I do expect prices to decrease however we have seen historical uh, cuts in production and that of course will increase prices um, if we ever see these lows again i kind of doubt it um, if we see a second wave of uh, coronavirus and um, that may uh, that may cause the price to go back to these levels but at this point, no, I don't really expect us to go back to these levels. So we can see that a 20 um, exponential moving average played as support. And, and if that plays as support, then, of course, the 30 exponential moving average and especially the 50 moving average will, will act as support at this point. We can also look at the Fibonacci uh, Fibonacci levels as we hit a uh, high here. So there, so we can see that the uh, the thirty eight point two percent Fibonacci retracement level is around the area of the fifteen moving average. So if prices were to go down to twenty seven, this will most likely act as a support level and prices will bounce off this area. Um, what I expect at the moment is that we'll find a new range and I think the market is looking for a new range. And I think that that new range will be around $40 uh, to, to around um, $27, $30, this range here. So we'll see prices go up and go down and go up and down until we um, get an economy that is growing again, until airlines start flying at 100% capacity or at least 50% capacity and we see, uh, see cruise liners and so on. Technically, the market going back to the uh, same place as it was in 2019. However, I do don't expect that to happen anytime soon as the coronavirus is still out there and it's um, 
affecting the world economy significantly. If we look other, after other indicators for uh, next week, we can see that the RSI is uh, quite uh, flat. It is, it is not at 70 at the moment, so it's not over a bot at the moment. We can see that the stochastic is around is about to go down, and this could indicate that we are going to test the 15 moving average, and then we'll jump back up. We can see that we had a crossing here due to this uh, massive decline on the Thursday, and we could probably expect uh, MACD to go down around this area and before it goes up again. So I do believe that we are starting to see a new range here. We had this massive decline where we were oversold. Then we had this massive uh, upwards trend where we were overbought. And now we're going to see something that is going, going down, up and down until, well, the economy starts um, acting normally again. So thank you very much. Thank you.